And if you can get a peek in all the weather like this, how about putting the garden to bed? It's a process where you get your garden ready for the colder months. Meteorologist David Tillman spoke to a master gardener and local small business owner to learn what you need to know about sending your garden to sleep. Gardeners across the region will soon begin preparing their garden for the winter. Jenny Wiss, owner of Homestead Solutions Plus in New Haven, is holding a class teaching about winterizing your home garden. She explains that there are a few important tasks that help keep your garden healthy during the winter. We're going to talk about using cover crops, a different tilling techniques that you can do, adding compost, how important it is to add compost even in the winter time. There are a few different ways to till garden beds as well as a variety of cover crops to plant as winter approaches. It all depends on the needs of the soil. WIS encourages gardeners to test their soils and educate themselves on how to best prepare the garden to serve their individual needs. So usually I just um, tell people to research all of the cover crop options with what you want to do in mind. Like what does your garden need? Are you trying to add biomass? Are you trying to suppress weeds? Are you trying to fight erosion with sandy soils? I mean, it just depends on what you're looking for. WIS adds that agencies such as Urban Soil Health or Purdue County Extension offices can help gardeners understand their soil test results. Additionally, composting is a vital step for keeping your garden healthy during the winter time. WIS explains that adding compost materials leading up to the winter can go a long way towards preparing your garden for the spring season. The soil is a living and you have to feed the soil, feed all the microorganisms that are working in the soil. So if you can keep them alive all winter long, then when spring comes, your garden's going to do much better. WIS's class will be held Saturday, October 14th from 10 to 1130 in the morning. For more information and to sign up, you can find the link to their Facebook page on our website at WFFT.com. I'm meteorologist David Tillmans with Fox 55 News. And on Monday, David will have more on composting and the impacts it can have on the environment.